Well, all right, welcome back to the White Farm. It is January, still in the morning. Got a couple things to do on this episode. Uh, first, we're gonna do a little bit of snow removal. As you can see, there's snow everywhere. And I have leased this salt spreader on the back of the uh, tractor. Got some salt in it. Uh, so we've spent a little bit of money on that. And if you notice there in the background, you see that tanker trailer. It's actually on sale. I decided to buy that to help with filling up the greenhouse. So I really don't need to clear this snow. I think we would be okay around the farm. But I thought, why not? Uh, might as well do this. I, I don't often remove snow. I just normally just play over it or play through it. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and uh, give this a go on this playthrough. I don't know that I've ever used a salt spreader. I've always tried to use a plow or something, but I'm trying the salt spreader and it does seem to be working quite well. Probably isn't very realistic spreading salt around on a farmyard, but that's what we're going to do. Oh, let's see. Oh, let's back up. Actually, was not sure if I could spread this on the road, so I might end up... You know what? Let's try something here. I think I can make this a little bit wider. Uh, let's see. About right there. Don't want to go too wide, because I don't want to get it onto the grass, because I know that would kill the grass. Alright, let's see what happens here. Oh, that's not quite wide enough. Oh, we've lost it. So, just right there in front of the farm, it looks like. Well, hey, that'll at least keep me from sliding off, <laughs> sliding off onto the road. Let's see what we can do over this way. How far will it let me go? That is all. All right. Well, we got a little bit cleared on the road. Let's head on back into the farm. So, yeah. We're going to clear the snow, and then we get done with that. It's time to buy some more animals. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get, get some more on the farm. Get those going. I do want to eventually get all the animals on the farm. Pigs, chickens, and cows. Of course, we already have the chickens. Let's spread around these areas where we're going to drive. Go ahead and get it cleared out, just so we can say we did it. think this is much much easier than using a plow because you don't have to worry about the uh, snow that builds up when you're using the plow this way it just kind of disappears works out really well We don't ever get snow where I live, so I've had some experiences with snow, but nothing uh, where, <laughs> where I had to deal with it in this fashion. So, like I said, not totally realistic, but it got the job done. Mainly, I just wanted to use the uh, salt spreader. I just never, ooh, there's the dog. Conked him in the head. <laughs> Poor dog. All right, don't need to spray the chickens with salt. Very good. All right, so let me pull this out of the way. We're gonna go buy some animals. So before we do that, I just want to check something real quick. That's the wrong menu. Let's go over here. So the chickens, remember I bought one load of chickens 76 of them, and I was going to raise them up and sell them. But they're only at $17. 
they got a little bit further to go before we can sell them. I'm actually thinking about letting them have a batch of chicks and then sell them then. I don't know. We'll have to see if they make it to $25 before then. But I'm going to... Oh. We'll go ahead and sell those uh, at, sometimes later in the uh, next few days, I believe. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't ready to go ahead and take them because we could load them up now. But it do need a little bit more time on them. Alright, so we've got the uh, cargo or the <laughs> cargo trailer. The animal trailer hooked up here. And we'll head on down to the to the animal dealer. So I am gonna go ahead with cows. And I actually really wanted to buy pigs to begin with on this playthrough. But I don't have enough to feed them. And that's the problem. So I'm going to hold off on the pigs for now. Now, I could go buy some pig food. And I may end up needing to do that at some point. Uh, but I do have food to feed the cows. So, figured that would probably be the better and smarter choice right now. So, let's get some cows. Now, I normally get Holsteins, and I do like the Holsteins because that's what I know, but uh, we're going to go with the Brown Swiss on this playthrough, and I'm going to get, ooh, we could get the baby ones, but that's going to take them so long to start producing anything. Let's get the uh, mid-range cows here, and I think I'm just going to buy five. <laughs> I guess we're getting five. Because that must be all that the trailer will hold. And it appears so. So we're going to get five cows. And let's get them down into the pen. And we'll see about getting uh, some food in for them. I was not sure how much snow we would end up getting on this uh, map I didn't didn't know I hadn't went through a winter yet uh, some maps it seems like you you will get some snow but it just doesn't stick and then sometimes you'll get multiple months of snow uh, but so far uh, we got a little bit of snow uh, didn't stick and then we got some here in January and as you can tell it did stick so hopefully it thaws out. We don't get any more because I really don't like dealing with the snow. All right, where is the where is the trigger for unloading these cows? There it is. All right, we're going to move it to the husbandry, and they are in. Very good. Very good. Yep. All right, so this pen does not hold very many. I think 42. Let's run back over here and check. Uh, 45. So we could possibly buy some more cows at some point in the future. And, and who knows, I may go ahead and do that. Uh, they weren't too terribly expensive. So I'm going to go ahead and swap over the... Uh, the forks here, put the bell spike on this little tractor, and we'll move over into the barn and get them some food. Alright, we'll get the tractor pulled up in here, and then I need to spawn some bells because I do have some straw and hay over there in the corner. So let me get a couple of, the, couple of those out. Uh, let's see, on the hay, you know what, I'll probably just start with Let's start with two bells with the hay. And then I'm going to go ahead and get one bell of straw out. I don't know if I'm going to need a straw blower. But we will give that a shot. Now, there is a door right here. And I believe that we can just drop food down. I'm going to try it. I think that's what it's there for. 
We're going to give it a shot. I'm going to start with a hay. Oh, oh. Didn't get it just right. Just trying to get that top bell. There we go. Hopefully the bells will actually fit through that little door. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can get that to drop off. Uh, hey! That <laughs> worked. Awesome. I had not tried that else. <laughs> I'm really glad it worked out while I was recording. Really glad. So that makes that easy. So now we can go ahead and grab the other bell of hay. Now what I don't know is if the straw will go in the same way. Uh, I know that wouldn't necessarily be realistic just dropping a bell of straw in. We probably need a blower. Uh, the cows would technically eat the bells as they are, uh, but for straw, I don't know. But what we're going to do is try it because this I will get a blower. We'll need to do that. But I do want to try this and just see if it works. And this will be the only bell I do this way if we need to put any more straw in. I'll definitely get a blower. So, for testing purposes, let's see if this works. Now, if it doesn't, I'm going to have to get down there and use super strength. To get this bell out of the pen. Uh, oh. It did work. Let's see what we have going on here. Alright, so it looks like... Let's just open up the animal menu. So they have straw in the pen. And hey. We're good to go. Fantastic. I'm not sure how... How long that hay? Ooh. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck. I am stuck. Uh oh, I cannot get back. Uh oh, I'll oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to go around. I know. I'm a doofus. Yes, I'm not sure with five cows how long that will last. Uh, you know what I think? I think we probably need to just go ahead and buy five more. I think that will be a good number to have. We'll start out with ten. We're not going to make a lot of product. But that's okay because we don't have a lot to feed them. It's not a very big farm. And if we do want to have the pigs as well, probably going to have to be a little conservative on the animals at first. Uh, going full bore on a full pen of animals is going to be quite well, quite costly to purchase and then also to feed to keep the feed up so I uh, just don't quite have enough land to support that at this point I don't believe and I think if we go ahead and get a uh, another load of cows that'll be a good start and then the next animals that I buy will be the pigs. And I'm hoping, I'm really hoping to get those before spring, if I can. Uh, if we continue to make money, that shouldn't be a problem. All right, five more in the trailer. I'm still doing okay with money, still doing okay. Uh, we're going to take a look at the uh, greenhouse production here in just a moment. Uh, that thing's cranking out some materials. I'll show you what I did. Ooh, got a little, little slide action with the trailer there. <laughs> a little bit of drifting action. Alright, almost back to the farm here. We'll get these unloaded real quick. That'll be good uh, as far as the cat, as far as the cows go. 
Ooh, slid into the wall. That was not good. All right, there we go. We have 10 of 45 in the pen. So very good. So let me pull this trailer around over here. Go ahead and park it back under the shed. And then uh, let's go take a look and see what's going on with the produce. Now, I tell you, I struggle sometimes in the winter trying to find enough to do. Uh, but so far, I've had kind of plenty to do. I did fast forward a little bit of time through December. Uh, and, you know, I'm playing on 1x speed, so I'm going to have that. But, uh, yeah, still, every day seems like there's something to do. So that's, to me, is much more enjoyable instead of getting to a December, January, February and just doing a bunch of fast forwarding. All right, we got that there. So if you look over here, you notice we have a whole bunch of strawberry jam pallets. And as a matter of fact, we have quite a bit of it. Uh, I actually stopped the, the strawberry jam production because I ran out of strawberries and over here in the greenhouse I have emptied it out of strawberries so I don't have currently any strawberries on the farm and you see we do have a few more pallets of the jam in the uh, production as well we're getting uh, quite a bit of mixed salad you see we are pretty much full in the production with tomatoes and lettuce and then over here in the greenhouse still have tomatoes and lettuce in there as well. I'm out of seeds and low on herbicide, solid fertilizer. So do need to restock the, the greenhouse, but I will get to that uh, probably between episodes. I'll do that. And I think what I'm going to end up doing is going ahead and selling some of these between episodes as well. So uh, yeah, that greenhouse makes a ton of product and it's awesome it really is you see we're starting to get uh, quite a few pallets of eggs over here so i need to do something with those i also need to resupply the chickens with some more feed because they are getting low with that as well so i'm going to go ahead and close that up and take this tractor out of this barn I'm going to go ahead and hook up to that water tanker. We're going to take that down to the to the uh, greenhouse and just make sure that that works out okay. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't, but I just want to make sure. Make sure we can get the water out of the pond and empty it into the, the greenhouse okay. This will definitely make putting water into the uh, greenhouse much more efficient. Uh, it was taking quite a bit of time doing it with that little trailer. So as, as much as this greenhouse produces, I'm actually thinking I won't run it all the time. Maybe just kind of uh, when I need it. Maybe run it in spurts. Uh, one thing I did do uh, between episodes is is, uh, t is I took some of the uh, loose product out of the greenhouse and took it down and sold it. Uh, well, just some extra that I had. That way I could uh, make a little extra cash and help keep things moving along because it was producing quite a bit. Alright, so that's good. It is filling up in the in the pond. I didn't think I'd have any problems with it. I just wanted to confirm. Oh, the tractor's having trouble pulling it, <laughs> pulling it up, up the bank there. Ooh, that was rough. There we go. Got the trigger. All right, that is working out really well. So, greenhouse is currently stopped. I'll get that going again and then sell few of those strawberry pallets make a little cash between episodes so probably be in uh, February next episode we'll see how things are going at that time thanks so much for watching hope you enjoyed it uh, if you did please be sure and click the thumbs up button if you haven't done so yet I'd appreciate you subscribing to my channel
see you back here next time.